Is Stephen Curry overrated? Now this video is a video that I wanted to create for a while but I haven't really ever done it and I don't know why. It's one that will probably create a lot of controversy in the comment section but all I ask is that you hear me out and you listen to the entire video because I'm going to talk about points that lead to Stephen Curry being overrated and points that lead to Stephen Curry being not overrated and I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. But before I get started, I saw B Souls, I think that's how you say his name, anyway I'll leave a link to his video in the description box down below, it was a really good video so go check it out, but he also made a video similar to this one, yeah. So is Stephen Curry overrated? Now it wasn't too long ago that the basketball world was comparing Stephen Curry to Michael Jordan, which I found absolutely absurd, but you remember it right? Please tell me that you remember it. Even Michael Zemba made a video on the topic because it was getting completely out of hand. He made one saying how there shouldn't be any comparison between Michael Jordan and Stephen Curry. The hype was real, but now it feels like all those comparisons are done with for a while. Ever since Stephen Curry choked in the 2016 NBA Finals and performed very poorly to say the least, and the 73 win Warriors team never got a ring. The basketball world has been coming down hard on Stephen Curry, we all know that. Curry is not MJ, we know that Curry is not LeBron, we know he's not Allen Iverson or Shaquille O'Neal, he's Stephen Curry, a two time MVP. Backed back, in fact, a one-time NBA champion, and he led his team to the best record of all time. However, is Stephen Curry overrated? Firstly, I think I'd like to settle the argument by saying that there is a big difference between someone being overrated and overhyped. I think Stephen Curry has been overhyped for the past two seasons, but not overrated. This is mostly due to the media. For me, being overhyped is more to do with what the media and public relations have done in terms of overhyping someone and making insane statements to create a buzz around the topic, which in this case is Stephen Curry. Being overrated is more to do with what the critics or people in general who have said or written something about him, like the people in the YouTube comment section who either overrate him way too much or people that just absolutely hate him for no apparent reason. Anyway, let me be clear. I don't think this takes anything away from his actual play. This is a man who is part of the 50-40-90 club, has a scoring title, has two MVPs, and is the first unanimous MVP in NBA history, which people do love to argue this against him, but it's not really his fault. That's what the NBA gave to him, most likely due to the fact that he was overhyped by the media. This is a man who won an NBA championship in 2015. He brought his team to the finals in 2016, as well as having one of the greatest individual seasons of all time. Curry is the greatest shooter in the world, and arguably the greatest mid-range shooter, although that might be a stretch, but for sure he is the greatest three-point shooter in the world for sure. And he will probably be the greatest three-point shooter of all time when it's all said and done. He isn't overrated, nor underrated. He is what he is, a top three player over the last two seasons. And I want to emphasize that last point, over the last two seasons, from his first MVP season to now. In saying that, you could also argue that he is not a top three player this season, and I'd probably agree with you. So let's say in his last two MVP seasons, he was a top three player in the league. This year with Durant being added to his team, it's very hard to say that Curry is a top three player since Durant is playing better than him on the exact same team as him. This season, my top three would probably be LeBron, KD, Westbrook or Harden. I mean, how could you really cancel that Russell Westbrook's triple doubles in saying that he is a man that loves to go after stats, so I don't know, I can't see Curry as a top three player this season, but obviously that's a debate that we could all have. Now that I've got that out the way. Here is why Curry is seen as overrated and overhyped. I do understand why people believe he is overrated, which I will get into that right now. ESPN ranked him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time, even before reaching the 73 wins and winning his second MVP. Now that is absolutely ridiculous. 
Just another example of the overhyped type of player he has become. And even when he did get the 73 wins, he still doesn't belong in the top 5 point guards of all time. This is of all time, not currently. He was ranked higher than Chris Paul, Isaiah Thomas and Steve Nash already. Now, I get that by the end of his career, we could have a different discussion. I get that. But right now, we are talking about the greatest point guards that have ever played in the NBA. And Curry was ranked 4th? I don't think we should rank him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time. Not just yet. Like I said, a different discussion after we wait a few more seasons in the league. But as ESPN ranked him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time, I don't know about that. Like, ah, that's, that's a little high for me. So, long story short, no. I don't think Stephen Curry is overrated, but I do think at times he can be overhyped, like ESPN ranking him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time, and it's nothing to do with Stephen Curry's play, it's just that he hasn't done it long enough to be the 4th greatest point guard of all time, and I'm sure that even if you are Stephen Curry fans, and even if you enjoy watching Stephen Curry, I'm sure you can agree, if you've watched other point guards, that he isn't as good just yet of all time. Like, certain years he may be better, but once again, I don't really like the discussion of comparing one current player of today's NBA to a past player like Stephen Curry and Isaiah Thomas, if you know what I mean. So once again, I don't think that Stephen Curry is overrated, but I, I do think at times he's overhyped. And I will get into that once more. Also, when people say that he has only played this great for two seasons, they aren't lying. Yeah, he's had good seasons before 2015, but not to this extent. Like, he was an all-star before he won his first MVP, but he wasn't the MVP type Stephen Curry before he won the MVP. Like, it's a bit obvious. I mean, just look at the stats. We can all agree on that, surely. Like, he was a good player, but he was a great player after he won his first MVP. So, when he's compared to CP3 and Isaiah Thomas on an all-time list, I get it. Maybe this season he's better than CP3, but I'm talking about throughout their entire careers. I think it's crazy. Not to mention he's getting compared to LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan, which in my opinion is just once again another example of Curry being overhyped by the media. Yes, he's good. Yes, he's one of the NBA greatest players, but you have to be great for a long period of time to be compared to these legends and LeBron James. Which, I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying not right now, he can't be compared to LeBron and Kobe and Jordan. We can't just look at the past two seasons and compare him to the 10 all-time greatest players in the NBA, or the 10 plus all-time great seasons by MJ, LeBron, etc. It's just disrespectful. So, to cap it off, Curry isn't overrated. He is overhyped, in my opinion. Now, that may look like it's the same thing, but it isn't. Because being overhyped in a sense that he already deserves to be mentioned to all-time grace, he simply isn't there, not just yet. At this point in the video, I want you to comment your opinion in the comment section down below, because I've talked about why Stephen Curry is overrated or overhyped, and I've talked about why he isn't overrated and why he isn't overhyped, because he is a two-time MVP. He did lead his team to the NBA Finals, and he is one of the greatest point guards, let alone one of the greatest players in the NBA. But at this point of the video, I want you to comment down below, because as you can see,